guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Little Friends. Today we are having episode number 46 and here you can see what we actually built in previous episode uh, number 45. We did a pretty cool interesting, uh, let's say, intersection with a little roundabout there. Uh, I totally enjoyed it. If you didn't see it already, I think you should see it. Of course, after watching this episode. <laughs> but let me tell you what we are going to uh, to do today so a uh, few episodes ago we built this big uh, area from here bibliothèque francois mitterrand from paris today uh, okay today today but till today um, i want to mention that we build this area together with this uh, metro station that we have here uh, and i do remember saying uh, that this will not stay the same and that's because I actually really, really want to redo it properly. We, I have to redo the bridge or at least a part of it together with the metro line because I want to change the metro line. I don't want to leave the vanilla one. <clears throat> I want to change also the uh, metro station. I want to make one by myself with procedural objects. And I want to fill in this area from here together with the, this intersection. Um, so, let's see, we do this intersection, just adding these buildings here, but the main focus we are doing is this metro, elevated metro station and this bridge. As you can see here, we have some nice um, columns. Okay, first things first, let's delete my favorite thing. <laughs> so I deleted everything and as you can see, and I kept there the metro and the people that are actually now flying. Uh, I'm sorry for them. But the reason why I did this is because I'm doing, I'm plopping now a platform. This is made by Titan. And because I kept the people there, I know exactly how high should I raise this platform so people can actually walk properly on them and not have any differences or whatsoever uh, I will do so many changes to this uh, platform uh, I'm getting rid of the extra walls there I will keep the stairs because I'm going to add some um, cool stairs I found on the workshop these stairs are actually uh, moving uh, escalators are, are being called um, there are some um, moving ones you know it, it's just a um, with the help of a mod you can actually uh, see some it's, it's like a gif you know <laughs> so they are working but of course uh, just for the looks they are not actually working so you need to add an invisible pathway there so people can actually walk on those stairs or whatever <clears throat> which is actually a bit difficult if you ask me and i will t tell you about this uh, uh, later i will add the metro track which is the metro uh, uh, station track uh, as I promised, I've changed them, uh, no more vanilla ones. Uh, I added a 9 meter height or, or something, because that's the perfect one um, with the um, with these, uh, the perfect height for these platforms and exactly how it was before. To have everything uh, work um, correctly. Uh, I am adding uh, only roads that are flat and not sunken uh, because otherwise all these these two intersections that are at the end of the metro station they will look bad uh, with sunken roads so I need to use the elevated roads. I'm redoing now the a part of the bridge with the three-way uh, lanes I'm trying to keep the exact measurements as before and just adding the metro line in between. Uh, this way I can have a perfect, um, let's say, um, calculation of how to keep the distance in between them. Uh, cool. That being said, as you remember earlier, um, we had a look at the pillars let's call them pillars for the, the for the metro line and they are actually some really nice and cool uh, old style uh, pillars like these ones that i found here and i have to modify them because actually they are not completely under the trim 
and by that I mean there are like two pillars in between there so because people can ride their bikes or walk under that metro line and I, w I wanna be a bit more explicit and I wanna I'm going to show you on Google Earth what I mean by that. So I'm adding these type of pillars on this side and then I'm uh, doubling them on the other side as you can see here. And in between I will add topable um, pavement, everything procedural objects. It's easy and I can change their uh, look, aspect and uh, size, um, shape, whatever. We are under the bridge, under the metro uh, line bridge. So this actually people are um, can walk or ride their bikes here as you can see this is uh, the I forgot the name of this you know what it doesn't actually even matter right it's minister the economy here so people can actually take their bikes from here and even cross as you can see here under this part of the bridge uh, of the metro line sorry and go here to this metro. I know this uh, metro station is quite old and we also have it on the workshop. I mean it was done before but I wanted to make something more modern uh, so don't blame me, don't hate me, I love you. Um, okay I'm playing with some nice pillars now. These are actually some chimney chimneys I think and I plop them down there, I was thinking of something else at the beginning, but later I will change my mind, so I'm going to use different type of uh, supports for this uh, platform. Because I'm using now, I'm, I'm using a, um, a, a really, how do I say, a metal beam um, for, for sustaining uh, this platform. I'm coloring it with the red because I... I don't know, I started using the red color on those two pillars, so I'm, I continued with this one. But I will actually use some concrete uh, pillars later to support these uh, metal beams that we have here. Uh, pretty easy, uh, guys, as soon as you do this, uh, you just have to keep the control button down and move that arrow. And it's kind of doubling everything, it's being copied, so you don't have to get out and copy paste it, paste it, paste it, and paste it and over it again. It is easier this way, just to hold the control button. Uh, this is another actually chimney um, made by Ronix, uh, a concrete one. Uh, I made it very small to look like a pillar. I like the fact that it has some e extra stuff there on top of it, it looks like there are some... Um, how do you call this? Tampo? No, I don't know how to call those. Some stuff that can hold something, you know, and in our case, the metal beams. And if you add here like a rectangular or, or something like that, uh, where you can also add the text in procedure objects uh, options there, you can play with some uh, things like this. I, I made some extra colors, you know, on, on them. And now I'm transforming this into a, like a wall. I don't know, I played a bit with the colors. I didn't want to make one color, I didn't want to use different type of wall or something, so I'm gonna keep it as it is right now and uh, I kind of like it. Uh, so it's there for, to stay. Um, it is very... I don't know, I, I it's quite... I'm, I'm happy, I want to say it's quite unique, but I'm happy with the, the result. And um, it's very colorful and it will be very, very modern, as you can see. But okay, maybe not that, not futuristic or something, just just modern. Uh, these platforms also, also had some really cool um, gaps there for uh, elevators. And I'm going to use an elevator for, you know, people with having uh, disabilities uh, to get up there on the platform. Um, so I'm going to use those, of course they will not be function, uh, functioning because they are procedure objects and um, the real one that could have functioned was very very wide and I didn't want it to, to keep it there so I had to cut it like in half. Uh, there were two doors, two separate uh, entries, two doors and I wanted to keep uh, only one of them, one entry, not double elevator. And also I did the same thing for, for the below part, uh, adding the extra walls and uh, the elevator as well on, 
there. Let's work for at the roof now. Um, I have some really cool shelters. I found some really cool shelters. I kept using them also in Arndorf. And I'm going to resize these. They came in with glass and metal beams. So I'm resizing them five times uh, bigger. So they will match exactly the same. And I'm going to you rotate them to make like a half a circle, let's say. Or yeah, something like that. Um, to hold the, the, the glass. And then we just um, put the metal beam on uh, both sides and that's it. Just copy paste uh, over and over again there on top of the platform. Uh, I I played a bit with their um, size. I think I even re-rotate them a bit. Like yeah, yeah I'm, I'm doing it uh, now. I was not sure if I kept it on the on, on the footage. Uh, but again, I'm going to get rid of those two extra uh, pillar uh, pillars that I added there at the beginning. Those were for, meant for something else and I changed my mind during uh, uh, this entire build. Um, copy pasting this, uh, just doubling the uh, using the control uh, feature feature of, uh, of this of procedure objects. Uh, it kind of does the job super quickly and easy uh, every single time like this one as well. I'm uh, using some different type of um, decals uh, these are text these textures are actually procedure object texture textures and I'm, I'm using these because you know it's easier to uh, raise them plus I like I like the their look I like the aspect it's a bit modern and um, my little sims will have to enjoy them as well uh, cool I was thinking at a point hey I'm doing this but what if I'm going to do something else and by that I mean, what if, I, if I'm going to color the platform with a yellow color? And because I don't want it to be colored completely, I will play a bit with this rectangular here in order to colorize this side of the platform, only this side of, of the platform. Because I want to, you know, when you in a subway or something like that there is a yellow line saying hey uh, stay behind the yellow line and whatever that's what I meant and I wanted to do that without having to add an extra thing there so colorizing that uh, kind of made um, made the trick properly adding the last little detail I think for my station here some benches with some uh, nice uh, green uh, bushes let's call them um, these benches are actually functioning so people if, if they want they can actually sit on those benches and I hope they are <laughs> are using them and uh, I think that's kind of it for for the uh, this metro station which by the way again I'm going to release them on my Patreon account only as an export, procedural object export. In case you want to use it in your city or in a different city or whatever, you can download it from my Patreon account, like right now. Okay, now let's continue with this, uh, with redoing the intersections here, because uh, uh, this is my favorite part, I guess. <laughs> uh, and yes, guys, I have subscribed to the Node Controller mode, which is a game changer. I am totally loving it. I'm super, super happy uh, and it has so many feature features and oh, it's, it's again, game changer for me. Now I can actually do my intersection 10 times better with this because you can, you can increase the size of your node there and this way the curves and everything will be more smoothly and better looking. That's such a good one and uh, okay so I, I I'm re I'm doing this intersection I'm I'm keeping uh, using the flat roads and not the sunken roads because otherwise they will look very bad ugly and mm -mm, not good for uh, for for us uh, I will be adding here in the middle a a pillar a metal pillar actually it's it's the same way in real life and it's being surrounded by some concrete uh, 
so cars can won't hit <laughs> the metal beams there, the metal pillars. Plus, in between there, uh, as I said earlier, um, we have bikers that will uh, ride their bikes from a, a part to the other of that bridge. Which, by the way, reminds me, I um, I need to make people actually take the bike there. So I'm not sure what's wrong, but I think on the other side of this bridge, there is something uh, that is not properly working and I have to fix that. Uh, the last touch for my intersection here is of course to use the um, traffic manager president so I can redirect the cars driving properly and not how they want that. I will add ex I will add just few lines, not too many, just few lines and I'm going to add them uh, manually and not with the uh, intersection marking tool and that's because I cannot do that when I am messing with the roads like I just did before. Uh, plus, you know what, the intersection should be very, very, um, very, let's say, em like empty and not that crazy uh, with amount of uh, other stuff. I'm adding only a few lines, uh, I will add some decals as well and whatnot, but road signs and everything it takes in order to make it, you know, more realistic, like it is in uh, real life. Trust me, you'll enjoy the cinematics at the end of this video. I totally, uh, I totally enjoy it. Uh, as you guys uh, already know, I don't like to make uh, my intersections, uh, especially the big ones, uh, not to, I mean, I like to make them properly and not to leave them as they are, just like that. I hate uh, simple intersections. Don't hate me, even though I know in Paris or in some other parts of France, uh, they are not that detailed. Uh, they are very uh, simple which is not bad okay let's set the traffic here I'm going to use a traffic manager president and I'm going to actually set the um, traffic lights and tempo for two intersections at the same time so I'm synchronizing them for those who actually want to understand how this works I have a tutorial as on my channel on how to synchronize traffic lights from two intersections. It's easy, actually, very easy. I'm doing this because I actually do want to keep the, uh, the cars to drive properly and not mess up. Uh, I don't like the way traffic lights work for vanilla. So I'm doing this. Uh, I'm pulling that note there because I couldn't find this one of the traffic lights. It was overlaid with another one. so. I had to find a solution <laughs> to, uh, to to reach it out. Uh, okay, after I'm setting up this traffic light here, uh, I will uh, start using my um, imagination, not only, of course, uh, and trying to take inspiration from the one from real life, from the intersection. I'm adding the uh, decals, like uh, stopping decals, uh, arrow decals, um, and all sort of decals in order to make this uh, intersection look more more realistic as i said i'm going to add some damage decals uh, different type of stains um, tire decals or and, and so on just to to make it more realistic and uh, good looking uh, also i'm adding some extra little uh, concrete um, let's say islands let's call them uh, that can prevent you know cars uh, going uh, in so hitting the pedestrians in the middle there in case the, uh, the pedestrians are uh, being held in between the lanes uh, even though you know uh, in city skylines we actually uh, this happens all the time uh, because uh, you know the artificial intelligence is uh, well I don't even know why I'm calling it intelligence because it's it's not <laughs> Uh, good. Um, on this left side here, we have the bike lines, lanes, bike li lanes as well, um, that we did previously when I built the uh, bibliotheque there, the library. I'm going to do here another extra work with some uh, concrete curbs and concrete pavement so I can uh, do the corners properly and make them look better than how they look right now. Plus it's the same way in real life. 
Um, and uh, the final touch uh, is not yet done here for, for this pedestrian area because I will definitely, uh, I'm going to add some extra things there, some extra props, uh, anything that will make this more vibrant and full of life. I will also add some little, uh, some trees on the riverside uh, off camera because I don't uh, want to to do that on on camera. I'm already uh, having this video quite long because I'm doing lots of stuff like adding even uh, road signs. I I, I didn't uh, in be before I wasn't adding road signs as I'm doing now, and that's because I honestly wanted to stay away from adding too many stuff on my roads but hey uh, it gives an extra touch and look uh, to this intersection and not only to any intersection that has this kind of detailing so yeah i i kind of uh, broke my promise um, my own promise and i said okay i'm going to do it uh now I'm fixing the the lane for the bikes. That's because it was too wide and was kind of overlaying a bit there. Uh, bollards they don't have to miss from from this particular area. If you ask me, it's a very dangerous area. It kind of happens, especially on roads where you can speed up a bit or where the corners are uh, putting pedestrians in danger. It can these kind of things happen also in Bucharest, for instance, in the old time. Uh, area it happened a few times that in a simple intersection not you couldn't even drive with uh, too much speed and there was a terrace people actually drinking something uh, uh, they're enjoying their time and a car just went through them uh, hitting them uh, pretty bad so these kind of things happen if there are there are no concrete bollards not metal but concrete bollards um, I'm adding extra pedestrian uh, crossing there because we need the uh, pedestrians to get uh, from two uh, directions into our metro station there. Um, unfortunately, these two roads that you just saw are coming blank with no lines, nothing. So I had to, uh, I, I, I have to add the lines manually one by one or multiple ways. And now I'm doing the uh, last detail, as I was mentioning, uh, the one with the uh, tires. Uh, and I will add, add also some extra ones like cracks, damage decals and the uh, stains. I, I don't want to have these roads too clean. Some of the roads are actually having a really good uh, and nice texture, but some are absolutely plain with no nice look or aspect you know cool uh, uh now plopping down the buildings which means i am getting close to the end of this episode as well so guys um i really want to thank you very very much uh for watching this i really hope you did enjoy it i also hope you are going to use my uh, metro station uh, uh, the me procedural object metro station you'll have to add your own little details like a track to stop there to stop your metro there and maybe some invisible pathways that's it not nothing more because everything else will come from my side but hey in case you are going to use it please do uh, post some pictures because i want to see it in your cities uh, it will be absolutely amazing uh, but again the metro station export procedural uh, procedure objects export will be shared only with my patrons and not only i'm sharing uh, from time to time uh, some other type of uh, procedural ob objects exports as well of course save games lut settings and whatnot and um, so on guys thank you very 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 much i will leave you now with the end of these time lapse and the cinematics but uh, for sure we will see each other very soon Till then, uh, wish you all the best, uh, take some care of you and your families, and uh, I salute you.
ocean, a cave, a dream that no one could save, a shelter, a whole act, a light that died with the night. You and I, we got our differences. 